All right, hey there, orchestra friends. This is the Royce Online Stream Orchestra Project. Okay, I'm looking at tuning a violin today. All right, and um, so I teach orchestra, and sometimes I get, you know, stuck in the trenches of tuning an instrument. It's not easy, but it's worth the hours spent at home. Um, I think you'll find that it's really worthwhile, and it helps you feel really good about your instrument too, um, learning to tune it and be more in tune and just learning to use your ear. So, um, there's a cello drone A that I'm gonna use um, from a specific channel that I'll put on the notes later. Um, and I just wanted to kind of show you the checklist here of what's going on and what you should be able to do by the end of the video. So, um, what I'm gonna look at doing here is uh, loosening all the fine tuners, right? So we'll pluck and tune your violin, okay? And I'll also um, show you how to tune with the pegs, just so you know how to do that and follow through with that. And then, um, so we'll tune the A plucking, then we'll pluck the other strings, get it closely tuned anyway, Pizzicato, then we'll bow. So yeah, we'll do those three items. Okay, so first, you know, I don't like to, I like to start fresh here, so I'll just start all with all of it totally down. So you have plenty of space here, okay? So let's just take this D down. Take this A, A down. Gives me more space to work with on the fine tuners. And E all the way down to the left, right? Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, okay. Now there are a lot of awesome videos out there, but I'm just not seeing many where they're in the trench, you know, doing all of it. So I'm just gonna show you kind of what I'm thinking and what I'm doing here. Okay, so go ahead and hit the drone here. Okay, so flat. Okay, remember I always like to go left toward me just to kind of make sure it's loose and I'm in the right direction. Okay, turn the A pizzicato. And I notice whenever I change the peg and tune each peg, it changes the peg box and then all the pegs go out of tune. It's kind of sad, but it's just the way it goes. Now I'm going to double stop here. My A sounds close, very close. So I'm going to go ready tidy. Sounds fairly close. Okay, now I'm just gonna stop this for a second, and you'll see why. Um, we want the instrument to ring, and you'll notice that if all the strings are out of tune, it doesn't ring as well. It just doesn't, it's sad. Okay, but when your strings get more in tune, it start, your violin starts to ring more. Okay, let's go to the E. So my E has been getting stuck, uh, not stuck, but it's been sliding. So I tried to fix that string. You'll kind of see it there. Um, and the string tends to go against the wall there, and I think that's affecting it a lot. So it might not stay easily. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, I don't have a good grip on it at all. But I'm pushing this way while I push this way in turn. So let's see if we can get this going here. I'm getting slightly closer. There we go. Yeah, I'm close. Ooh, and this is that, it's that last bit here. Let's see if I can get it to stay. There we go, sweet. Okay, fine tuners are out. Good. Sounds like everything stayed relatively good. All right, so checklist, our A's in tune. Pizzicato and the strings are relatively in tune with it. Okay, let's go ahead and bow it now. All right, so let's just check that A again. So I'm gonna hit play on cello drone A. And it's good to tune to a cello because when you play with friends or in an ensemble, you have to tune to the lower strings anyway. So why not practice it? So my flat, in tune, or sharp? 
Iron flat, so I gotta go higher, righty tighty. And my D was just a little flat too. Okay, now let's check D G. Let's check our G. I think that sounds right. Wow, oh, close. <laughs> A E. What do you think about that E? Yeah, it's flat. Okay, so when E was flat, I did ready. I went and turned fine tune ready tidy, so it went higher, okay? And you'll see here, this will pop out sometimes this peg will totally pop out. So I just have to loosen it and make sure that this string is not along the wall here of the peg box. Otherwise that really messes up. Well, I hope that helped you guys tune today and in the future. So if you have any questions, let me know.